Hello everyone, it's your sister Roland, and all I need is a few minutes to discuss what I'm making today for the fifth day of the Dynamo 5. I'm not cooking every day, so I'm cooking every other day. That's what it seems like. Um, so today I'm making Dewey John John with brown rice. Some people may call it, some people call it black rice. Um, I don't call it black rice because for me black rice is made with black beans. But some people call it black rice. But is mushroom rice because I'm using this dried mushroom right here to so get the water dark so it can make that. You know, well, it's not gonna because brown rice is already brown, so it's just gonna give it like a darker, a little darker brown color. So you just need a pot of water and then you're just gonna pour this in there, wait till it gets to a boil, drain it, and then use the water. To put in here where I'm going to actually cook the brown rice. So I usually cook with canola oil or olive oil. So you can make this recipe with the California blend. I like it with the California blend better because I just like the taste that it gives it. I got this from Dollar Tree. You know, Dollar Tree went up a, a little, but compared to other places, this would would have cost like three dollars. It was a dollar twenty-five. So you can use this, the mixed vegetable, but I prefer the California blend when I'm making this recipe. So let's see. So that's the mushroom in the water and getting ready to boil. You can wait till it boils or you can put it beforehand, it doesn't matter. So I just like it to soak, you know, start soaking in the water already. And also remember you don't have to use this. I mean, you don't have to use that to make the Di John John or the mushroom rice. You can use this. It's way, way easier. You just put, you know, it in the water. Some people like to fry it. I mean, saute it. Some people just drop it in the water. This is would be much easier. But I guess this is more the natural way. Okay. So now I'm going to get the water from the... By the way, this is called dry mushroom, just in case I don't know if I said that. So I'm going to strain it with this paswa or strainer. Sometimes I so, I'm so used to saying this stuff in Creole. I don't even know the English word to it. So I'm going to strain the water so, you know, those parts don't go in here. I want the parts don't go in here. So this is my... vegetables I'm sauteing you know it's frozen that's why the water is in here so I'm gonna pour it I can't show you how I pour it I'm just pouring it with the strainer because I'm filming by myself today okay so that is me pouring it in there see it makes the water dark it makes the water dark so now I'm gonna wait till it boils a little bit and then I'm gonna pour my brown rice inside. That's the remnants. You just discard these because you can't use them anymore. So here's the brand of brown rice that I use. You could use any brand. It doesn't matter. I've used Publix. They're all good. And I always wash my rice. I wash a lot of stuff. Grits, rice, well, cornmeal. Yeah, because you never know what debris you could find. So I wash it after I finish wash it in hot water like three times two three times it depends and then I'm gonna put it in here see as it's boiling with the rice I don't measure my rice so I know it's enough rice when it's barely visible in the water you can know it's not too much and it's not too little and I can see I can look down and I can see the rice that's when I know I have enough rice. That's how I was taught. I don't measure, never have, and I always had enough rice. All right, so with this, with the brown rice, you let it boil for a little bit, and then you are going to lower the heat, and then just cover it and let it roll. Don't cook it on high heat. Put it cooking on high heat, it will never cook. Put on a very low heat, and if you have a rice cooker, that's easier. But if you're doing it on the stove top, 
you have to lower the heat and cover it. How we do it in me growing up in a Haitian household, you know, we take the so this is how we do it clean a plastic bag and you cover the rice and then you cover it with, with this cover. That's how I do it. That's how I've always done it. And I've gone train and then I, of course I lower the heat. And then you let it fit and you keep on checking on it. If you want to add butter or if you can tolerate coconut oil, you can add coconut oil instead of butter. Or you can add both. And then you just let it cook and it should be good. It should be cooked. So it's almost done. So when you're cooking rice and it's almost there, you always put a hole in the middle. Try to put a hole in the middle. And then you cover it back up so it can thoroughly cook everything that's probably not cooked or whatever. So that's how it looks. It kind of looks like rice. But it's brown rice. It kind of looks like parboiled rice, see? Like the parboiled rice. So I'm going to put the hole in and I'm going to cover it back up again. Don't necessarily have to cover it up with the plastic if you choose not to do that. So here's the finished product. So one thing I noticed about using the actual dried mushroom compared to the mushroom in the cube, this is not as brown as it usually it would be when I use the cube. When I use the cube, it's like a darker brown. Here, it's it didn't really change the color. So that's what I noticed. So that was actually my first time making the brown rice with the dry, the actual dry mushroom. I usually make it with, you know, what bright rice. With white rice, it would definitely have turned it color. But with the brown rice, it didn't. But if I had used the cube, it would have been much browner. But anyway, it's the, at least it's cooked. That's that's the only thing that matters. It's cooked. So that's all. I'm gonna enjoy my little rice. Oh, I'm gonna have it with some um, avocado. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in another video. Bye.